All right, so I got a little question on Strava today, which I realised I hadn't actually talked about at all, which was when is my race season going to start? So obviously had a bit of a crash this summer, wasn't ideal. And um, obviously my back, I had uh, a lot of metal plates in there. Not really ideal if I crash at the moment. So I basically decided, well, me and like my parents and, you know, thinking about it with the doctors as well, that probably isn't ideal to race straight away. So I've got an appointment in June with doctors to see my back and I might get metal taken out and just, you know, see how it is. So I'm basically not going to race till June, which, you know, I do like racing uh, quite a lot. I find it a lot more fun than like just time trials and stuff. But at the same time, do want to be able to walk and not really have lifelong injuries. Because um, luckily, I, although I did have a very, very bad crash, I'm actually all, all calm now and I walk and everything. So it's all good. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm not going to be racing like bunch races until at least June. Um, and then maybe when we'll decide. So instead, I'm doing a bit of alternative race calendar, which is what everyone seems to think is very popular these days. Like Ed Laverick's doing a bit of alternative race calendar. If he's like the B-Tech Phil Gaiman, I'd say I'm like the NVQ version of, of Phil Gaiman on him. And if you know what that is, you're a legend. If not, it's like a terrible qualification below B-Tech. But anyway, so it's, um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I've decided basically, like, I just want to get fit again. So I did an FTP test, like, when was it? It would have been on Friday, because um, I had no labs, which is lovely. So anyway, did an FTP test, rode out to my favourite place. It's not exactly a 20-minute climb, but, you know, it's like, it's more or less, it's good enough. But anyway, so I did 297 watts um, for 20 minutes, which is not, it's not bad. It's not unreal. Um, so obviously, if I weighed 50, 60 kilos, it will be 4.9 watts per kilo. Unfortunately, um, I'm not 60 kilos. Uh, no, I just... Like, to be fair, after my injuries, I sort of just ate whatever because basically you want to have loads of energy to heal your bones. So it wasn't really an issue. But, um, so I'm like 63, so it's more like 4.7 watts per kilo, which isn't terrible considering I was quite ill and, like, didn't really train too much um, beforehand. But anyway, it's it's a good start place. You can see here it's it's a hard climb-ish to do well a good FTP test because obviously, like, down here you're going, like, 10k an hour up this steep wall and we get up to 53k an hour. So it's not ideal, but... I didn't keep it that smooth. I'm not very good at keeping a really smooth power. Like, I'm not terrible, but I can't keep it, like, within plus or minus, like, 5 watts. Um, anyway, 85 canes. And recently, I've been getting a lot of stitches. So, obviously, I, I broke my ribs quite high up, and I think that's had an issue. So, I got stitches. But luckily, on this one, didn't get stitched, which is really, really good because it means I can do some efforts without getting stitches. Because imagine doing, like, 30 15s or something really grim, and then you get stitched as well. Y your motivation's at an all-time low. Um, so anyway, yeah, so we'll go, we'll get to the training peaks and you'll see I put some things in these are all just the random hill climbs that I just decided to lob in when I was bored the other day. Um, but the, my big goal is going to be the Alps. Um, so last year you might have seen, I went to the Alps with my uni, which is good fun. It was a week, week in the Alps. And like, to be fair, I thought I was going to fly, but I just was feeling dreadful. Um, I think I've realized why I was, um, probably a couple of trips to the Lizard Lounge didn't help. Um, but yeah, like I think, you know, I was on good form, but I just couldn't hold any numbers. Like. One of the days the lad lit up, lit out. They like let him out, and he's got top ten at Columbia. Um, big out, big shout out to Ted Cross. But he was doing like three hundred and ten watts, which like should have been very easy that then. And I was on the wheel doing three hundred and ten, like five minutes, and I was like, man, I can't do this. Um, so anyway, we're gonna try and have some form in the Alps last year because I I said I would have form, but unfortunately I wouldn't. Um, so one of the, we're staying relatively near outdoors. It's like a two hour ride, so it's not right next door. But I think my big goal is trying to get a nutty time up here, and obviously like. You know, so last year I hit 350 watts, 61 kilos. I think hopefully I should be able to get back to that um, that level. Obviously I've changed power meters. I'm now on an Invercrank. So maybe all you haters who say my power is wrong will say, oh, you can't hit that. I, I think I have the same numbers. Um, so I think I should be able to get that. Anyway, obviously, you know, top 25 is not really going to happen. Um, you know, 1400 VAM is is quite a lot um there are a lot of different segments this is the official chrono course which i think is what most people tend to do it as this one pantown has gone like 37 minutes up here or something but there's also the vey alp which has some slightly different people and i think basically the vey alp is steeper and doesn't have this flat bit at the end so when you zoom into the segment you'll realize that um i'm not sure if you've been to alp it's, it's like the the course is a bit weird because obviously the climb stops about here but you sort of go through the town this is always when they finish at the tour de france is you know they go under the tunnel here then they go around there and then there's a left hand corner and then it's like 200 meters to go until until the end so obviously that's that's where the Strava segment ends for most people so anyway i think i want to try and get a really good time so it's going to be you know just under an hour effort well now it'll be like 48 minutes like that 
Um, I hope so. I'm I'm hoping to get you know like top top hundred, maybe maybe better than that. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, I'm gonna look at some calculations with numbers. Um, like I mean, you sort of see this with like Hessing do three hundred thirty watts and weighs seventy kilos. Like surely I'd be able to beat that, but I don't know. Um, could I beat Emma Pooley? I, I might be able to. I don't know. Um, Hamish Bond's a bit loud as well. You managed to get that pretty fast as well. So I, I'm I'm hoping for um yeah a decent time up there. Obviously, you know if I can get back to three fifty watts um for 20 minutes you uh, extrapolate for 50 minutes maybe 320 um 330 so that's like five and a half ish but um the other thing is i'm trying to yeah get get a little bit lighter get more down to 60 kilos maybe 59 kilos see because i've never actually really done it i've never like and then people are always going to kick off and like and be like oh you're going to have an eating disorder like i'm not because as you can <laughs> probably tell i quite like being fat so well, not that. I mean, you know what I mean, like a bit heavier. So I'm just going to see, like, not go mental, but just see if I can get down to, like, 59 years. Because, like, if you look at my height, like, I'm 173. And obviously, you're going to, like, it's a bit of back comparison because they're pro athletes. But if you look at all the pro cycles, they're 173. They're all sub-60, maybe 57. So I think there could be potential for me to be lighter. Obviously, like, especially because I'm not doing bunch racing. Like, if I was just doing that beers in the UK, mate, the weight doesn't matter. Like, I'd get around anything, like, 62 years because, you know, like the climbing isn't gonna be the issue it's the, it's the other things on the flatness and the acceleration so yeah it's just because i want to go for these and then obviously at the end of the season we've got hill climb season and a bucks medal which needs does need to happen um so yeah that's sort of the update on the old uh, racing if you look at the training you'll be seeing that i've been very lazy um during exams it was a an absolute um yeah just terrible performance from myself um I really was just not in not good form at all. You can see it from as soon as I finished uni, I pretty much was ill that weekend, couldn't do any hours. This week's were all right, but I just realized that I was not in top condition for my exams. So I had to prioritize the exams, which is, yeah, I guess understandable. Um, and then you'll see that I've done some rides here, but this week was all right. This is like a 12 hour week, which is not not terrible but it's not great and then i got ill and no sorry that was last week but the weeks before that i was like pretty ill and stuff and couldn't really ride i did a 13 hour week here which is you know decent it's not it's not unreal um like to that was pretty soft i gave up it's got a stitch and like just stuff like that and you just need to harden up a bit and then like this one as well i did five hours and then was feeling dreadful and was a bit ill and like yeah it wasn't really the one so I think what we can learn from this is yeah just don't get ill basically and then i you know i've got 20 hour week next week i don't think i'm gonna be doing 20 hours at my timetable but you know we'll see and then the first big race i guess is uh the bristol university time trial it's like a open that we're doing i'll putting on um it should be all right i'm gonna try and sort my tt bike out i don't know if i'll be able to ride it but if not i've got my mbs and stuff in the skin suit so should get around reasonably well um hope to hope, do maybe 320 watts which sounds a lot like if you think i did a test here on the friday 300 so that would be one week two week three weeks after pretty much three weeks in a day to gain 20 watts which sounds a lot or maybe it is a bit too much but i think it i think you know 315 could definitely happen because like if i train consistently and you'll see also my training is is very different i, like, I hate tempo efforts right so if you ever look at my training never do tempo waste of time and it is in my opinion for uk races and for races that are long climbs but obviously my main goal now is to is hit, well, effectively hill climb season really and just getting fast i'm gonna hit strava segments so i'm basically just gonna have fun and what, what i do and um obviously if i'm gonna be doing a big alps and wanting to get good times up there which i know is, is lame strava is lame but you know i love it at the same time i think everyone does um then 20 minute efforts is the one and just getting more mentally hard as well so you're going to see me doing more 20 minute blocks like tomorrow is three hours um i realize i've got something so i can't do three hours but it will be something like two hours two times 20 minutes tempo with some endurance afterwards which is good and then gym obviously to make sure that i don't have a broken leg well i still got a broken leg but like i can actually walk so yeah that will be good um in terms of videos many are in the works many are in the works i've got lots lined up but I need to make videos. Like I've got them edited, some of them. I just need to commentate, but I'm just been lazy. I've got a video about Milano coming up. We've got Ian Poo in uh, San Juan and some other ones. Colombia might get some more from 
well, Milano R8, um, and then there are a couple others that I've been thinking about doing. Um, so yeah, if you've got any more ideas, just let me know. And when I'm free, I will bang them out. I mean, I am always free to do them. I'm just lazy. But when I stop being lazy, um, I'll try and get a bit more relevant. Because uh, at the moment, I'm about as relevant as Mark Cavendish in a sprint. Now I love the man, but yeah, it's not looking good for him either. So anyway, cheers for watching. Um, hopefully there'll be some more videos from myself shortly.